guys, it's Blake here. It's November 15th, Sunday morning. It's about 30 degrees. We got really high pressure, 30, 30.5 is the pressure. So some of the deer should be on their feet. We're about to hit the peak of the rut here in Kentucky. We've seen a lot of small bucks. Self-filming this morning. I uh, jumped a deer coming in to stand by the barn down there in the ditch. And he ran off. I think it was a buck. But we haven't seen any rut activity yet. We're gonna sit down. We got a couple hours before we gotta get out and go to church. So hopefully the good Lord will bless us with a buck today. Stick with us and stay outdoors. Well, I'd sat in the stand there for a couple of hours, and it was very still. I was scanning around, looked at the end of the food plot right next to our barn, and I could not believe what I saw. We'd been getting a few trail camera pictures of him in that area. The dark knife finally made his appearance for the video camera. Rural and rustic meets southern culture and class. A barn affair in Gradyville, Kentucky is built on 153 acres and provides a private retreat for corporate events, weddings, reunions, and private parties. A barn affair offers on-site lodging with our beautiful main lodge as well as other cabins on the property. Call 502 645-8921 for reservations today. Hello, this is Ralph Stokely from Stokely's Marine. I'd like to invite you down to take a look at the all new tracker boats. From the Protein 175 to the Protein 190 and the all new Protein 195 rated for a 150 horsepower. Great fishability with features like recessed foot pedal, eight and a half foot rod boxes, the Revolution Hull, to an aerated live well system that's unmatched. So come to Stokely's Marine, where your authorized tracker boats dealer. We're four miles south of Fayette Mall and Nicholasville Road. Let's go to the lake. Rural and rustic meets Southern culture and class. A barn affair in Gradyville, Kentucky, is built on 153 acres and provides a private retreat for corporate events, weddings, reunions, and private parties. A barn affair offers on-site lodging with our beautiful main lodge as well as other cabins on the property. Call 502-645-8921 for reservations today. Visit Russell Springs, Kentucky, the gateway to Lake Cumberland. Enjoy a day out on beautiful Lake Cumberland, perfect for fishing, swimming, and any type of boating. After that, venture back into town for some golf. Take the kids to the city park to enjoy the multiple playgrounds and our scenic nature trail. Grab dinner at one of our local restaurants and catch the latest show at the Historic Star Theater. Bring your family to Russell Springs, Kentucky for an experience of a lifetime. Well, it sure is crazy how things happen sometimes in the whitetail woods. Uh, this deer come out and he's standing right beside the barn. And that's probably the place where the majority of our uh, human activity occur on this property.
Well, I grunted at him several times and got his attention, but he never would come towards me. I knew he was probably tending a doe somewhere close by. Blake filmed him forever standing there by the barn and in the fence row there by the trees. Um, everything was going great. He had plenty of uh, battery life left on the camera until the buck turned and started heading back from where he came out. All of a sudden, the camera started flashing low battery. The deer started coming back towards me, and I knew I had one chance at harvesting this buck. We may never see him again, so I framed him up on the camera and put the crosshairs right behind his shoulder. As you can see, right after the shot, the camera cut immediately to Blake. The camera had literally just died right as he made the shot. Well, guys, it's a little after uh, 7.30. 
I just heard Blake shoot. He's hunting up the barn. Got a text. Said he's pretty sure he, he had a hit. The deer run off. Um, it's our big buck that we've had on camera. So I, I'm going to climb down and uh, head up there and, and see if we can uh, get a recovery on this deer. Uh, fingers crossed. I uh, hope we got one down this morning. As Brett gets to the food plot that Blake is hunting in, something catches his eye. The morning just keeps getting crazier. Well, um, heading to the stand, there's a deer. There's a deer up here on the hillside looking at me. Blake, you still on the stand? There's Blake. That's where he, uh, That's where Blake was hunting. He supposedly shot this big buck this morning. I'm coming to help, hopefully try to find him. And there's a doe standing up there on the hill, big doe. He's still in the tree. Well guys, I've walked up here I'm underneath Blake's stand. This doe was 30 yards looking at me. Blake's still up in the tree. It's unbelievable. After Brett got to the stand, it was finally time to get down and see if we could find the dark night. Okay guys, it's 8.03, I shot that buck at that buck at 7.24, I, I think I hit it, I went back, the crazy thing is, as soon as that buck, that buck walked off and was picking behind some trees and stuff and I couldn't get on him, and then uh, I had about 80 minutes left on the camera, and then all of a sudden, it just starts blinking low battery life, low battery life, so I had to turn it off, and I didn't know when he was going to come back out. And he came back out, and he was going back up the way he came. He had a doe with him that I didn't know about, so he's probably going to follow her back up. And uh, I had one chance, had a shot, I got the camera on him, and I held the crosshairs right behind the shoulder and squeezed off a shot. I don't, I think I hit him, but as soon as I shot, the battery, or the camera pretty much died. I started to do an interview, and it died, so I was pretty shaken up, so you guys missed out on a show up in the tree, but... I'm pretty nervous right now. I just need to find some blood, and then that'll make me feel a lot better. I think I hit him. So we're going to go find, uh, go to the spot where I shot and check it out. Stay tuned. All right, well, we've walked over to where he was standing whenever I shot. There's a lot of white hair. We looked at the video, and Brett and I are pretty confident that I hit him, I mean, good enough to kill him, but there's a lot of white hair. Um, not We haven't found any blood yet, so I thought I hit him high. A little higher than that, but I don't know. Maybe it's belly hair. Maybe we hit him in the heart, and he's just not bleeding. I don't know, but we're going to walk down the last place I saw him and see if we can find him, so let's go on. Well, after one of the craziest deer tracking jobs I've ever been a part of, Blake and I were finally able to recover this deer, and what an exciting time it was. It truly was a team effort on this buck. Well guys, here he is. We, we tracked this deer and we finally got him on the ground. I shot him about 7.30 this morning. I was self-filming. Brett was hunting on the other end of the farm from me. He heard the shot and sent me a text and I told him I, I think I shot him. And uh, me and Brett nicknamed this deer the Dark Knight just a couple weeks ago, just being kind of goofy. But uh, we had only seen this deer at nighttime. He had never ever been out in daylight. We didn't have one picture of him, did we, Brett? No, no. We had it ton of pictures of him even back last year we found a shed uh, but 
no daylight activity we ever saw out of this deer so that's kind of why we named him the dark night yeah and then you know this morning i eased in and i i spooked a deer that was bedded down right next to our barn that we walked by that you can see in the footage and uh, you know i just eased on climbed up in the stand and, and you know just kept quiet and eventually about 7 30 he come out down the trail from the barn and it was the last place i figured i'd seen come from because i didn't expect to see him at all and uh he was there for a while, went around behind the trees, uh, never gave me a good shot. I thought he might come in. I started grunting at him, and uh, he wanted to come, but he had a doe with him that I never even seen. And finally, <clears throat> he came back and uh, was about to go back up the way he came, and uh, I squeezed off a shot and uh, looked really good on the video. Me and Brett were pretty confident about it, but uh, we think uh, hit him a little back further than we thought, not really in the vitals. Uh, more in the body and uh, then Brett and I were tracking in the soybeans and uh, we didn't see any blood or nothing did we Brett? No, I, Blake come across one little speck of blood about the size of the end of a pen and that was all we saw. We was really getting pretty discouraged and about that time Blake turned around and he said there he goes, there he goes and we turned around and he was running down the middle of the farm uh, by the creek and uh, so we, we watched him, and uh, he went out of sight, and we set up a game plan on this deer. Uh, we waited for another probably 45 minutes, and, uh, well, we just we tracked him up from there. Just a great buck. First buck on our new Aaron Outdoors farm here. Just a great deer. We got some good history with trail cams. And, uh, I mean, this deer, this is a year's work right here, over a year's work right here, Brett. and. and Big thanks to our dad for everything he does for us. He comes up here and makes and does a lot of the food plots and stuff. And uh, you know, we got it done today. And uh, this this has been the craziest whitetail hunt of my life. And I believe Brett can say the same for him. So we're gonna get him cleaned up and and uh, go show him off to the family and friends.